Okay, so you've plugged an external hard drive to your Mac to copy files to it. But then this happens. No matter what you do, the file will not copy to the drive. The hard drive seems to be working fine, but you just can't put any files on it. The reason this isn't working is because the drive has been formatted for a Windows operating system. And if I press Command-I on my keyboard, I can learn more about this storage device. Here, next to Format, I can see that it's been formatted with the NTFS file system, which is a Windows type of file structure. While the Mac can read and copy files from this NTFS drive, it cannot copy to or write files onto this device. For me, if I want full capabilities of this drive, I'll have to initialize and format it. But before I begin, I definitely need to plug it into a Windows computer and copy or backup all the files somewhere else if I want to keep them. I'd encourage you to watch the entire video before proceeding so you won't accidentally delete any of your important files. This is just a warning because I want you to keep your data safe. To format the NTFS drive, I'll connect it to my Mac. Then, in the launch pad, I'll type Disk Utility in the search bar. After launching the Disk Utility, click on the problem drive in the left column. Here, mine is called Elements 1 Backup. And under the name, I can confirm this is the NTFS drive. To start the format, click on the Erase button at the top right of the window. On the pop-up menu, I can rename the drive if needed. In the Format drop-down menu, there are only two options that should be used. Select Mac OS Extended Journal if this drive is only going to be used on a Mac. Using this option means a Windows computer will no longer recognize the storage device when plugged in. But for me, the best option is to choose the XFAT format, which allows the most flexibility. XFAT allows both Mac and Windows to read and write to the hard drive. It's actually the best of both worlds. After you choose one of those formats, the next step is to click Erase. But please note that this final step will erase and delete everything on the hard drive. There will be no way to recover the lost data if you continue. So first, back up the data on the drive if needed. I'm not ready to erase this drive yet, so I'll just cancel out. But the step I just described is what you need to do when your Mac can't write files to an external hard drive. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.